Hello everyone and welcome to my film review for Damsel, starring Robert Patterson and Mia Wozkowski. I have no idea how to pronounce that, sorry, I'm reading it as I say it. Anyway, she's quite good. So, the first 48 minutes isn't worth watching at all. I was like, oh god, this just isn't gripping me. I'm bored of it. What is going on? It's quite a long film. I was like, oh, please don't all be like this. This is like a really long film. And it's just, oh, the characters are boring and not gripping me. Robert Patterson plays a guy called Samuel. And I just didn't like him. And I just didn't like the film. It's just, oh, it's boring. I mean, there's one or two. There's like a little, little bit in the bar when he's drinking some whiskey and he doesn't like it. It's just mildly amusing. But other than that, it's just dull. The first 48 minutes just isn't worth watching. However, from 48 minutes onwards, it's good. From that point until the end of the film, it's worth watching, it's good. The, the film changes gear quite dramatically at around the 50 minute mark. And yeah, so from 48 minutes, things start changing. At about 50 minutes roughly, or maybe 51 minutes, I can't remember exactly, it changes. The film suddenly is watchable and the characters are suddenly compelling and Mia who plays Penelope is really good she's she's a very good actress I've just been looking at some other stuff she's done and I just realized that she's Alice from Alice in Wonderland that's probably why I recognized her I was thinking I'm sure I've seen her from somewhere before yeah she's she's Alice okay yeah so that's who she is um yeah she's she's really good in this I liked her in Alice in Wonderland I haven't seen through the looking glass yet but yeah, I really, really liked that film, and I liked her in that, um, and she's equally good in um, Damsel. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to watch this film, I do recommend it. I mean, you could kind of just skip the first 48 minutes, there's no reason to watch it. It's dull, it's boring, and then they kind of recap the entire film of what's happened anyway, because um, Sebastian and Penelope meet up, they have a bit of a discussion over what's happened over the first half of the film so really there's no re reason to watch it you just go straight to 48 minutes watch that bit and then you can establish what's been going on at the first half of the film and then just watch the end of it and yeah so that that big job done um because the end half is actually really good it grips me it, i'm I, i've been saying that a lot in film reviews lately I, i've really got to stop saying that think of something else whether it grips me or not i just really as soon as i said it, it was like i keep saying that I've got to think of another line but anyway it did grip me um and, and i did enjoy it and um i was into it um basically um they're on their way back to town the last half of the film i don't want to give you spoilers because that will ruin it but from that point on as soon as penelope's character comes into it it is worth watching and it's a good film from that point on um so yeah i, I highly recommend the second half of the film the first half of the film, I don't recommend at all. It's got nothing against Robert Patterson. I'm not a fan of him. I mean, I, I don't particularly like the, the Twilight films. I've seen, have I seen them all? I think I've seen them all. I'm not sure. I might have missed one. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm not a fan of his. It's nothing against him personally. I know a lot of people do like him. He does a reasonable job in the film. He portrays the character that he's portraying, Samuel, um, adequately enough. You know, and I it's, I just I I just was not. It was not holding my attention for the first part uh, at all. Um, probably much like this film review where I just keep rambling on. But um, I'm, so I'm going to wrap this up. There's not a lot more I can say about it really. It's first half rubbish, second half good. That's I, though if I made the film review like that, it would have been literally five seconds long, and who's going to watch a five second film review? I don't know. Oh, if you've been watching my film reviews every day, um, you'll notice the daffodils are gone. They finally died. Yeah, they died a few days ago. Although yesterday for you, because that's when my last video was out, but I filmed that like a week ago. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, daffodils are gone. I'll get some more. Tune in next time to see if I get more daffodils or not. I think I said that on a previous video. I will get some more flowers. I'm I'm rambling on that. You can stop watching now. The film review's done. Um, 
there's no reason to watch any further. Uh, yeah. Right, um, right, my next film reviews I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to find some foreign films to watch. Um, I've been watching, like, English-speaking films. I'm going to see if I can find some other films which um, aren't English-speaking. Actually, um, I've watched Revenge. That wasn't English. That was French, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I did Revenge a few days ago. I'm basically talking to you now, assuming that you've been watching my film reviews every day and you know that I previously done a film review called Revenge, which was in French. So when I say I'm now going to do foreign speaking reviews, I'm, ah, uh, alright, just bye, just just switch off now and just go. Why are, you, why are you still here? Go, go, watch my video tomorrow. I'll have a better review tomorrow. Well, I don't know. It entirely depends on which film I watch. I'm going to go watch that now. Stick it out on tomorrow's video. Which is actually in a couple of weeks time from when I'm recording this. I really should shut up now. This has gone on far too long.